What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be cutting up the Ophelia Garden, specifically the green frog spawn, in preparation for the upcoming coral sale. Now the website is www.fishofhex.com and uh, you'll be able to purchase coral starting on February 13th. But before we get cutting, check out what it used to look like a year ago. And uh, you know, it only started off with a couple heads and now look at the uh, colonies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up everything, save a couple heads for myself for the next build. But other than that, everything is going to be for sale. I will say that cutting Ophelia is by far the easiest coral you will ever frag. Now I think that's why it's so popular on hobbyists when it comes to selling and, and kind of growing out and, and you know the whole trans shipping of coral. I think that that's why it's so popular because it literally has no downtime. Uh, basically you don't really have to heal anything unless you nick a head and you gotta wait you know for it to repair itself. But other than that you cut the skeletal structure, go ahead and put it on a frag plug or a disc and then literally as soon as the glue dries you can go ahead and sell that coral. Now, personally, I do like Ophelia, but I like it in a controlled environment. And what I mean is I don't want it all over the place. I don't want it on every rock structure. I want it to have its own designated place within a tank where it can grow together. It won't piss off any of my SPS. And if it does get too big, it still has a cushion room before it has any chance of touching, you know, a higher end coral, you know, an acropore or something like that. But that's why I like to keep it on the bottom rock structure there that way it had that whole area it could grow expand out and even when it's at its fullest it still has a good five or six inches before it gets close to uh, any SPS now I will say that it is uh, not so much physically difficult to cut this up but emotionally to a certain extent now I I do have an attachment to my reef tank obviously with the amount of money and effort and uh, uh, you know daily activities that I do with the reef tank so uh, cutting up a significant colony of this size is something that I haven't done yet and uh, it's a new experience but I do know that uh, this will allow people to have it in their tank continue to grow and continue to uh, you know provide coral for the hobby so and in the end I know that it will benefit the new build which I will continue to grow this coral and uh, you'll know, see how big it gets. As for the other colonies of Ophelia, I'll be cutting those to order just because I don't have enough room in my frag tank to put everything in there. I thought I had enough to, you know, get a couple colonies, but uh, after this one was completely cut up and put in the tank, I realized that I uh, I ran out of real estate uh, pretty quickly. So I'm just going to cut those to order. I got a pretty good idea of what I have there, um, and uh, that stuff will be posted on the website. Again, it's per head, and, um, you know, you guys can check that out when it goes live on Monday. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some music on so you can finish watching the cutting and fragging process without having me rambling in the background. Now, if you uh, are interested in this stuff, I do know that this kind of coral sells pretty quickly. So uh, when it goes live on Monday, I anticipate uh, it going extremely quickly because they are you know, roughly half uh, per head what they are retail. So uh, just a food for thought on that. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or contact me directly. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you like the content, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.